let's get this word into our mouth and, and practice with it using our voice. Can you please take a moment to decide who today is going to be partner A and who will be partner B? Turn to your partner and decide who's partner A, who's partner B. This happened telepathically. You didn't have to talk. A's, raise your hand. See how successful you were. Okay, good. B's, raise your hand. Fabulous. All right, so we have an A and we have a B. Let's go to our verbal practice. Everybody look at your book. Put your finger where it says talk about it. And let's read that first sentence. Read each sentence. Jamie, start it out. Read each sentence and think about how you would consider it. Thank you. Continue, Javier. Discuss your idea with your partner using the sentence frame. Wonderful. Oscar, continue. Listen carefully to your partner's investment idea. And the last sentence, Melvin. Write your favorite idea in the black. Great. Right. So when we do our verbal practice, let's remember. First, we talk a little about the sentence and we get comfortable with how we need to complete it correctly. Then we're going to turn to our partner and there will be a lot of talking. And then we're going to share, again, a lot of talking. We won't write anything down until the very end. Okay? So why don't you go ahead and put your pen and pencil down. And let's look at the sentence frame together, the first sentence frame. And we'll take a look at how, what we need to do to complete it correctly. The sentence reads, people often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspectives on what? Now I look at this word and I notice it's plural. I see the S on the end. So people are writing in to give multiple perspectives, many ideas, many points of view. So what kind of phrase or word do I need in the blank? Well, I'm going to need a plural noun. I need a plural, okay, that is going to complete this correctly. So people often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspectives on what? All right, so now I have to think to myself, well, what do people write in a, to magazines or newspapers about? Hmm. For example, I recently read a, a letter to a newspaper that talked about city parks. The person wanted the city parks to be redone. They wanted them remodeled and new equipment to be put in. So I could say city parks. And notice that's plural. It has an S at the end. That's the kind of noun I'm going to need. So let's read this sentence together. People often write letters and emails. Everyone? People often write letters and emails. To newspapers and magazines. To newspapers and magazines. To give their perspectives on city parks. To give their perspective on city parks. Fantastic. And you're just going to keep sharing back and forth as many ideas as you can. In about two minutes, I'll get to call on whoever I want, and you need to be ready to share with the rest of us. So partner B, raise your hand, Bs. Partner B, turn to your neighbor and tell them one more time, what are we doing right now? Um, we're going to have to talk about our perspectives on, are on newspapers and magazines. Okay, who can raise their hand and tell us what are we expected to do right now? Wendy. Oh, we're supposed to share our ideas. Yes, share your ideas talking to your partner, right? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Are we writing anything down right now? No. no. So just go ahead and put your pencil out of your hand, all right? Can you please turn to your partner? And if you're partner B, you can start the conversation. People <laughs> often write letters and emails. Partner B. The perspective on what's going on in the world, like wars. Um, people often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give them Perspectives on and magazines to give their perspectives on letters and emails to jobs. People often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspective on local stories. I like how you made that plural. Excellent. Nice job. All right, so I'm going to call on partners to share. I'll start the conversation with one person, and then we're going to popcorn. So for example, if I call on Ronnie, Ronnie is going to use his very best public voice to share his answer. And remember what a public voice is, everyone. This is louder than your usual voice and just a little bit slower, right? So really making sure that everybody in the room can hear you. 
When Ronnie's done sharing his answer, he gets to look around the room and he's going to popcorn to another person of his choosing. So he gets to pick. The only trick is, is since Ronnie is a boy, he has to call on a girl. And a girl has to call on a boy. If you're a boy, you must popcorn to a girl. And again, if you're a girl, you're going to popcorn to a boy. All right. Are there any questions about how we're reporting out? OK. I am going to nominate Nielsen to get us started. Nielsen, wait just a second, Nielsen, and then we're going to ask you in a nice public voice, sit up straight, look smart. <coughs> Tell us your answer. People often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspectives on TV shows. Wonderful. I really appreciate how he said TV shows. That was the plural. Thumbs up if you agree that we can write letters and emails to give our perspectives on TV shows. Thank you, Nielsen. That was excellent. Nielsen, look around the room. Pick a young lady, please. Who are you going to popcorn to? Mm, Alicia. OK, Alicia. People often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspectives on legacies. Popcorn. Popcorn to? Javier. Javier. People often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazine, magazines to give their perspectives on school budgets. That's such an amazing answer. Ramiro, could you hear that way over there? Yeah. OK, wonderful job. Let's popcorn one more time. Brenda. People often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspective on Team smoking. Thank you very much. Brenda, nice job. Is anybody else burning with desire to share? All right, Marcos? People often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspectives on drug sellers. Fabulous. And Jonathan, would you like to share last? Yes. People often write letters and emails to newspapers and magazines to give their perspectives on skateboards with graffiti. Fantastic work. Take a moment, please, to write the best answer, the one you really like the best, in the blank. OK, take a moment. So we heard many excellent answers. Could have been one you heard in the conversation, one you came up with on your own or with your partner. Please write that in the blank. Nice job, Javier.